I would describe my brother as being very charismatic, very warm, uh, a people person. He has a great sense of humor. Well, of course, he's a wonderful priest, and he's a great leader, a great administrator. But inside, he's got a heart of gold, and that's what he's all about. Energetic, uh, vibrant, uh, smart, uh, entrepreneurial. Warm, cares about the community, obviously cares about the student body. It's St. Thomas. There's a level of devotion that, that permeates everything he does and a desire to take care of those around him. And that's really him at his core and really what drives him and makes him such a great man. His presence in the community sent a message that this is a viable institution, that we have a stake in the community and we care about the community and we're going to be here to help. Just an enlightening way about him that is a big asset to his, uh, his job down at St. Thomas. He truly has and has had a vision that the academic things are incredibly important, but ultimately they have to be married with leadership skills and abilities to bring those good thoughts and insights in a manner to the marketplace that that affects change in a positive way. I was a student there back in the late 70s, early 80s, when there was basically one building, Kennedy Hall, and now Dooner Hall, and under Monsignor's leadership, it's grown to be a bustling, uh, you know, place of learning with a tremendous law school. Monsignor understands the role that athletics can play in the campus community, both from a student activity standpoint as well as an, an enrollment generator. I treasure his friendship. Um, I admire his leadership, particularly turning the, the students that go to St. Thomas into leaders. He's also very engaging, very warm, connects well with people. He's very encouraging to the people that work for him and are around him. He loves the university and the students. He eats lunch in the cafeteria every day so he can be around them. This has been a place where it didn't, doesn't really matter where you're from or what the color of your skin is or how well you speak English or not. It's a place for opportunity really understands working class families. That really is his strength, but, but he's an educator that believes that values ought to be incorporated into the curriculum. He really stands for those things that are right, that if you do indeed follow him, that you and the world that's around you and the community you share will be a better place, and that's a great place to be. Every time I spoke to him, he was like my dad, you know, well, okay, not like my dad, but he was very father-like. He, you know, he, he came in and he said, he, he called me son, you know, like almost in every interaction, Michael, my son, how are you? He, he would always check up on me. Students not only from South Florida, but from throughout the United States, and quite frankly, from throughout the globe, want to attend. What Monsignor Castell is about is about opportunity, particularly opportunities for for people in our community, and he's just a remarkable individual. When you sit there and watch the, the students graduating, you can almost sense the energy that it's more than just they've academically achieved something, but they're actually ready and pretty exciting to, to reach out to the world, and that's him. A very big thing going forward is an honors college. And we'll have the opportunity to name the honors college as Monsignor Franklin Casale Honors College. It will be the seed of aspiration of all. It will focus on the top 10% of the performing students and really give them the wherewithal to be the best of the best in competitive sense of all the country. It's the Honors College that usually is the centerpiece of undergraduate academic excellence. And to have his name on it, wow, I think that's a home run. Thank you, Monsignor Casale. The time that you have dedicated into St. Thomas University really did make an impact on my career as an undergrad and has also set me up for the future. For that, I will be forever grateful. Congratulations, my friend, and best wishes for the future. We know whatever you're gonna do next, you're gonna do it very well. I'm very happy for you, and congratulations on the naming of the Honors College. I wanna thank you for the opportunity to work for you for all these years and um, for all the encouragement you have given me. It's meant a lot to me.
We owe so much to Monsignor. Not only did we both attend St. Thomas University, he gave us our law degrees, he married us. And he's a heck of a babysitter. Congratulations, Congratulations Monsignor. I applaud every single thing that you've accomplished and look forward to spending more quality time with you on a personal level. Congratulations on a job well done. We've had a blast, we did great things together, and I can only say to you, you are the best. Congratulations!